get let's, some numbers rolling. Let's change the numbers. Let's change that song out. And put, there we go. There we go. All right. The Cleveland Browns, ladies and gentlemen, um, are on pace to go 0-16. 0-16? Oh they, they're already 0-9 now, or 0-10, I guess. They've yet to win a game. Oh, they're, they're completely my. defeated. Is this like the worst ever? Uh, I believe the Cle- the Detroit Lions lost all six, 16 games a couple years ago. Oh 2008. God. 2008. <laughs> Thank you very much. Okay, wow. a couple years ago. There he goes. Yes, there's a 31% chance that the Cleveland Browns will go 0-16. Oh, boy. Urine Klingsman ran the U.S. men's soccer team. That came to an end on Monday. He began his tenure ranked as the 34th best team in the world. Now the international ratings are out, and the United States men's soccer team sits at 33rd best in the world. So he improved the rankings one one, one spot. Uh, if you, if $1,000 were invested in the med- medallion fund when it was created in 1988, it would now be worth $13.8 million. Oh, my The Lord. fund, an investment vehicle run by hedge fund titan Renaissance Technologies, has created about $55 billion in profits over mm. 28 years. Mm. Unheard of results. Renaissance Technologies is one of those companies that always preceded by the phrase like notoriously secretive, which makes this Bloomberg market feature all the more interesting. Medallion fund, wow. one thousand dollars in nineteen eighty-eight. Thirteen million. That first, you have to get your hands on a thousand dollars in nineteen eighty-eight. That's true. Uh, let's see here what we got here. Finally, uh, marijuana sales in Washington State in the second quarter of two thousand and sixteen was nearly two hundred and twelve million dollars. <laughs> oh Compare Lord. that to the same quarter of alcohol sold. 212 million of marijuana sales in Washington mm-hmm. State, $249 million in alcohol. Wow. Almost equal. They're just living it up there in Washington State. There you go. Those are the numbers inside the news on the Big 550 KTRS.